Hey guys, I'm Alex Mack and welcome back to the channel. So, we've been getting a lot of questions, what is happening with our 62 Scout that we were restoring at the beginning of COVID. Uh, today we're going to give you an update on that, what we've done, what we have to do to get it back on the road. Uh, as you may also notice, we have wireless microphones, studio lighting, iPads, better cameras. We're really going to try to up the production value for these videos, uh, give you a little more in-depth view of what's going on in the shop uh, and eventually we're going to have a DIY instructional series as well as a series on starting your own mobile business. That's what we do. That's what we've been doing since 2014. So uh, stay tuned for those things and let's get to the Scout. All right guys, so I messed up a little bit. I didn't buy the right adapter for my wireless microphone. So this is going to come from the iPhone mic, but let's take a look at what we got so far. So we took the body off because we had to do a lot of work uh, in terms of swapping the motor out, cleaning up the chassis, and then we had to do this work. So all this is new metal. None of it comes stamped, so none of it ever has the curvature that you can see in the metal. So that all has to be done by hand, so it takes forever. And the same thing here. So that's all welded in. i got to grind down those welds. Right here, we... I uh, took the gas tank and relocated the saddle tanks to one tank that's going to sit under here. It actually fits perfectly in between the frame rails right here. So I had to patch those and weld those. Now here, I got to work on my hammer and dolly because there was a giant dent. And I don't want to use any Bondo that's... I want to use the least amount of Bondo possible. So um, here and here, uh, I spent quite a lot of time pounding out the dents. And now you can see here again the gas and then these panels are all in. I just need to attach them underneath. I put a piece of metal across and attach them. So on the inside, as you can see, the Chevy 350 has a uh, a distributor that sits pretty far back so I had to make this tunnel so that I could adjust the distributor take it out replace it if I needed to um, without sort of pulling the whole body out uh, patched up any of the rust that was on here did the same thing in this corner floors are pretty solid so don't, didn't need to do anything there here was a big hole um, you know made a little replacement piece but the rest of the interior is pretty good there's the turbo 350 so um, you can see from there the the bracket that we made for the transmission, which I'm actually going to put some gussets in in between uh, to make sure that that's strong and, and holding. So here's the front. Got a new bumper for it. Um, and yeah, that's where we're at. That's the update. We got a lot of work to do. Uh, following steps are grinding out those welds that are here priming the whole thing, then pulling the body off of the frame, getting all the motor stuff connected, getting that started, putting the body back on, spraying everything. Um, and yeah, got, got our work cut out for us, but it'll be worth it. These Scouts are such cool cars and we're really looking forward to it. So a couple of the other projects, a little Harley bobber they've got there, some antique coke coolers, an old Hobart welder. Um, and then over there is my pizza trailer. And this is where we just did the video, the intro, and my little hangout area. So uh, thanks for following along. We'll update way more often, come up with some new videos. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. How to how to start a mobile bar business.